let's compare transmission electron microscopy with high resolution transmission electron microscopy. Let's compare the images of TEM and HRTEM. We usually take the TEM image at low magnification. Basically, both techniques are same techniques. But in TEM, we take the images at low magnification. In HRTM, we take high magnification image at high magnification. And as I explained previously, that magnification is basically directly proportional to resolutions. How? We know this. This is the same material like this. But just we magnify this image and we get this high resolution image. High resolution means how? You can see here that previously I could not see here the plane here, the line. But when we zoom it, when we magnify it, so the lines become clear here. This means that I can see these two lines separate. This is why it is called high resolution. In other words, we can see here this is one grain here. I can see grain is a separate from this grain. And this is another grain here. But in previous case, there, there are no grains. No, no grain. I cannot see the planes here, the lattice plane here. But here I can see this is this is how uh, the high resolution images looks like. When we magnify this image, magnify mean when we zoom basically. When we bring it closer and closer, so we get high resolution image. The, but but if this these lines are not clear, so you can see that the resolution is poor. If these lines are very, very clear, so you can see that the resolution is high of that instrument. So let's further compare these two uh, techniques. Both techniques are basically the same in very, very powerful technique because seeing is believing. We see basically. We see in our own eyes, not like XRD, which we don't see here. But here we see the image here, right? They both these techniques basically use electron to explore the material properties such as the morphology means surface, the shapes, composition mean what are the components there. Similarly, the crystallography information, whether the material is polycrystalline or single crystalline or even amorphous, right? Let's differentiate. Is I explained that both use electrons to interact with the sample. The magnification of TEM images can go to 1.5 million times. This means 1.5 million. This is such a huge number. This cross basically used to multi times. This means this much times. Not 100 times, not 1000 times. This means that it zoom, it zoom the original image 1.5 million times. This is the magnification of TEM. The HRTM images further goes in magnification. It is understood. The resolution of TEM can go to 0.2 nanometer. This means that you can see 0.2 nanometer object is a separate. If it is a line, if it is a dot or whatever. You can see here the 0.2 nanometer object is a separate entity. This is how resolution means basically. In the case of high resolution, trust me, you can see here very small, small in the object is a separate. This means that if you put there a small object of this size, this means that you can see with the help of high resolution transmission trauma microscope. This is how resolution works, right? When the transmission electron microscope make images, create images, it only use the transmitted electron. The, the, because the, the, the sample is so thin that the electron transmit and it gives the internal structure of the material. In high resolution transmission microscopy, they, they basically use transmitted as well as scattered beam. This is, they use help from both uh, uh, electrons, from the scattered electron, from transmitted electron. So this is why it gives us, give us high resolution images. Very powerful uh, characterization techniques. Uh, give us about the crystal structure as I explained. This is the like the material uh, poly or uh, single. Uh, uh, the shape of the particle, it's understood that as I explained here, this is spherical here. You can see here, yeah, it looks spherical here, right? But it will give us two dimensional overview of the material. You can see here, this is two dimensional overview, right? Another three dimensional. 
And defects, defects from high resolution, you can easily see defects there. Uh, if you the material have some imperfections, impurity, you can clearly see the defects there from between two grains here, right? Uh, it is clear from uh, high resolution. So, like these are all defects, point defects, dislocation of the car, precipitation grain boundaries, uh, surface tray, all these we can uh, take from the uh, TM. The, the, the working principle is same here, very, they basically uh, use the uh, diffraction approach, right? And if the N electron basically convert into light in this image is what this is how it uh, works.